guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is one that I've been really excited to do for you guys because the holidays are right around the corner. We have Halloween and Thanksgiving and Christmas and Hanukkah and New Year's and it is all clustered within a couple of months. And you guys know as well as I do, that can be so destructive in so many ways in regards to our fit fitness and weight loss goals. So how do you get through the holidays and maintain your, your vision? How do you get through the holidays and maintain your goals? And how do you get through the holidays without gaining that 10 to 15 pounds? If you want to know my answers to those questions, then just keep watching my video. Okay guys, so first things first, if you're new to my channel, thank you for popping on. My name is Lori, better known as Felician Nurse. I am a registered nurse, a certified health coach, and I have a YouTube channel and Instagram. So if you want to follow me, please do. In regards to this video, this video is one that I have been really wanting to make because I get questioned by clients and friends and family all about this topic. It just seems to be something that hovers over everybody. The looming, you know, oh my gosh, am I going to go out of control during the holiday time? And I have a couple of things that I jotted down here to help um, give you some answers. I just think that these are probably some of the top few. So let's get started. So if you have been on Optavia or any other kind of program, you can really use these for anything, but um, specifically for Optavia because that's where I am and that's what I coach. Um, we all know that it's very easy and a no-brainer to be on plan. We just eat the food and go. However, we are responsible for a lean and green every day. And that can be very simple in, in an everyday scenario, but when the holidays come by, oh boy. So I'll just use Thanksgiving for an example because that to me is the holiday that is food central, right? We have drinks and we have appetizers and we have the turkey and the potatoes and the maybe the beans with all the bacon and all that stuff in it. So desserts, pies, all kinds of things. And with Thanksgiving, for me, it's just, a, it's one of my favorite holidays and it always has been. And it really does center around food. Think about it. What is Thanksgiving? As aside from the pilgrim thing, it's the turkey and all of the sides and everything that comes along with it. It is football games and beer and all kinds of stuff. So if you're fortunate enough to have Thanksgiving around family or friends, hopefully they're very understanding about your lifestyle and your accomplishments and your focus on getting healthy. And if you're not hosting this celebration of uh, Thanksgiving, then, you know, hopefully those people would understand if you brought something. In fact, I'm sure they'd appreciate it. So what I'm thinking is um, turkey itself makes a fantastic lean. It is a lean meat, especially if you choose the white meat without the skin. Some people like dark meat. You can have that on Optivia and you can incorporate that into your meal. So what I'm going to do for Thanksgiving this year is I am definitely going to have the turkey. I'm going to have the white meat turkey without the skin. So that would be a really nice portion size. And I plan on bringing some green beans with me and probably some salad. Um, we're, we usually go to my sister's house. So I will be ensuring that there's food that I can have. So obviously I can have the turkey, but what if my sister decides to make mashed potatoes or some kind of veggies that maybe aren't on my plan like corn I know she loves to do that and then there's stuffing and things like that so I will be bringing uh, green beans now a trick if you guys are on Optavia on one of the uh, fuelings under the select brand is the cheddar herb uh, biscuit Guys, it tastes like stuffing to me. It tastes like stovetop stuffing to me. That is what it tastes like. So my plan is to make one of those biscuits, cut it up into a bunch of little pieces, bring it with me, have the fueling on the side with my turkey and my green beans, and it'll it'll trick my mind into thinking it's stuffing. It's very bread-like. It's a biscuit. So if you cut it up into pieces and it has that um, stuffing flavor, then you are going to basically have a plate with turkey, beans, some salad, and some stuffing. So that is my trick number one. Make sure to bring stuff with you. Now, 
partially to this trick, I would say, when dessert comes out, holy crow, you might be tempted. You might say, you know what? It's a holiday. I'm going to cave in today and I'm going to enjoy. Maybe I'll just have a little bite. But you know what? That little bite for some people is fine. For others, it's not. One bite leads to two, leads to three. And now, all right, I've already caved in, so I might as well have the whole piece of pie or cake or whatever. Um, so my suggestion would be to make a dessert feeling that we already have, such as a brownie, or you can make the chocolate chip cookie, but here's my added twist. Pumpkin pie spice, right? So you take the little container of pumpkin pie seasoning, spice, whatever you wanna call it, you add it a little bit to your chocolate chip cookie, let's say, or your brownie or what have you, and there you have your own dessert. So when everybody's sitting down for dessert, you have your own. You can make anything. You can make the blueberry biscuit. You can make the chocolate chip cookie, like I said, the brownie. You can take a bar. The chocolate chip mint bar would be fantastic as a dessert. Um, so there's ways to go about the day. Um, and some people might think, well, if you're bringing the cheddar biscuit and having it with the lean and green, wouldn't a brownie right afterwards be like having too many fuelings at once? And my answer would be no. I want you to space it out. Eat your dinner, right? And then give yourself a good hour or two before dessert. Sometimes people eat and they come right out with the dessert. It's okay to say I'm not really hungry right now, but I will enjoy a dessert a little later. That's when you can bring out your own. So that is my, those are my tips when you're going to somebody's house. So another tip would be to use the power of your mind so there's an old saying when Optavia used to be Metafast, it was stop, challenge, and choose. And I still use that to this day, especially with a lot of clients of mine. The whole premise behind, and I'm sorry about this shadow here, the whole premise behind stop, challenge, and choose is when you see something, you literally need to stop for a second and look at it. Look at it as a fueling. Don't look at it as like an opportunity to go off plan and go crazy. So if you see, let's say, um, pumpkin pie and out comes the vanilla ice cream and the whipped cream and everything else, you're going to look at that for a minute. You're going to literally look at it and you're going to say to yourself, hmm, okay, nice warm pumpkin pie and there's that cold vanilla bean ice cream and the whipped cream. Yeah. So I, at that point, you're going to stop and observe it. Then you're going to challenge yourself and you're literally going to think in your mind, Boy, if I had that right now, it's nothing new. I've had it before. I know what it tastes like. It's going to be delicious. And I really, really could love to have a piece of that right now. But the challenge is I've lost almost 40 pounds in the last few months. I already know what it tastes like. I already know as soon as I eat it, I'm probably going to wish I didn't. And it's going to deviate me from my plan. So those are the challenges. The last part of that would be choose. What do you choose? Do you choose to do it or do you choose not to do it? That's up to you. But the stop, challenge, choose little scenario works really well when you're in a situation that you can definitely see yourself perhaps straying off of your plan with. I love the stop, challenge, choose. I use it often and I hope you guys incorporate that into your uh, holiday uh, decision making. So the next thing I would say is being a health coach, a certified health coach, I love to work closely with people and I love to come up with plans. I've done this with many, many people with different types of scenarios. So utilize your health coach, guys. Reach out to your coaches and say, hey, I have a big work party coming up for the holidays. Oh my gosh, there's so much food. Help. That is what we love to do. We love to help you guys. We will come up with a game plan and a strategy and we don't judge you. We work with you. So it'll be a conversation and it might need more than one conversation about it. We will work with you to come up with a game plan so that you can go to these events and holidays and parties and things like that. You know, corporations, companies, workplaces, they have holiday parties. It's not just family and friends. And sometimes you don't want everybody at work to know what your business is. So it's good to come up with a game plan so you can walk in there focused and know exactly what you're going to say, what you're going to do, what you're not going to do, and then it won't destroy your efforts. So another thing, another tip that I have is obviously I want you guys to realize that the holiday time is a time um, to spend with 
your loved ones and your friends and things, but I really stress to really dig deep and find what you're grateful for during the holidays. At our uh, family Thanksgivings and whatnot, it's a tradition that we go around the table and everybody tells everybody what they've been, what they have been or are grateful for. And it's really a nice reflection on um, being in the moment and really thinking about the past year and what you've been grateful for. So when you do that, it kind of reinforces your why. Why did you want to get healthy? Why did you start this plan? And it can really kick off your day with um, that sense of control. You know, you can wake up and do, you know, why I'm grateful and just really reflect. Take some time, write it down if you want to, just keep it close because you are going to be put in situations for the holidays and even the strongest of strong will say that um, it's not easy. So we always have to keep our why close. We have to remind ourselves why we're grateful, what we're grateful for. How did we do over the past few months? Did you lose a ton of weight? Did you not lose a ton of weight? Or did you lose a few pounds? You could be grateful for that. You know, there's so many things to be grateful for. And those are the things that we want you to keep close so that you can get through the day. Like Halloween time, you know, everybody always says, just don't buy the candy. But, you know, that's our culture and that's our country. And we open the door and give candy and treats to the kids when they come to the door. So that can be very hard. My, my best tip for that would be buy a candy you can't stand. For me, I just, I'm not a big candy eater. I do love Reese's peanut butter cups. That's why I always make my brownie with PB2. That's why I make my chocolate shakes with PB2. I love that chocolate peanut butter mix. But there's a lot of candies out there like Smarties I don't like. So I will buy Smarties. But I, then I feel bad because kids like chocolate. So I kind of look for the chocolate things that I'm not a big fan of. And I only truly buy enough. I know approximately how many kids we have in the neighborhood that come by. And it's quite a lot. I usually buy about six giant bags of candy um, and I give them out and you know last year and the year before I also gave out other things like I gave a piece of candy maybe and some stickers or things like that and truthfully the kids were like I want the stickers I want the pencils I want the flashlights I want like they when I ha presented them with both they all went for the like the surprises, not so much the candy. So that's an option too. Purchase something that you can hand out inexpensively and you know the Dollar Tree has bags of stuff that you could give out that's not candy related so that you won't be tempted to eat the candy. <laughs> um, also, if you have small children and they are bringing candy into the house, obviously as a parent you want to check the candy and things like that. Don't eat it, guys, please. You, that's something that the Stop, Challenge, Choose thing comes to play. Um, it's very easy to, you know, put it in a cabinet and then it's like calling your name late at night like, Lori, I'm in here, you know, come and eat me. So um, that's the Stop, Challenge, Choose. I want you guys to try to implement that because it works really well if you actually do it. New Year's Eve is full of um, drinking, obviously, and eating and just letting loose and having a good time. Um, again, utilize your coach for that. Come up with a game plan. Um, and I think you'll be successful if you use some of these tips throughout your holiday season. And I would love to hear if you have any tips, please comment below with them. I'd love to hear them. And if there are good ones, then those would be something that I would consider passing along. And that's pretty much it. So anyway, have a wonderful holiday season. Obviously, you'll see me before then because I make videos weekly. But um, I just, you know, I'm in the mindset. It's fall here. I got my scarf on today. It's cold. I have a cold. Um, my throat's a little scratchy. I'm congested. But um, I've been thinking about this. And I, I've been getting questions. And I felt it was time because, like I said, Halloween is around the corner. And then the thrust of the rest of the holidays uh, come to play. So I didn't want this, thing, this video to be out there too late. I want you guys to prepare and utilize what I'm saying now and come up with a game plan. So that's the video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you use these tips. And I will see you all in my next video. Comment below, thumbs up if you liked it, and um, I will see you in my next video. Stay focused. Love you guys. Bye.